Welcome everyone to Cisco Canada's virtual kitchen. Elevating your golf course menu theme today, food show Palooza. We are excited. We're all we're all jacked up on coffee, we're ready to go. <laughs> but welcome everyone. I want to introduce Charlotte, my co-host. Charlotte, welcome to today's show. I'm excited to have you with me on a big day. Yes, thank you so much. Really looking forward to a lot of amazing information getting jam-packed into these great amazing sessions and and matt this morning was just killer for everyone that uh, had an opportunity to tune in and uh, please take the opportunity to subscribe and check us out and uh, watch the matt rolf show at the pre-show but looking forward to having all these amazing vendors on showcasing these incredible food trends that were going into 2022 and getting people on the golf course and getting them eating food good food Good food. Awesome. Awesome. Good awesome. Food. So yeah. we got some a little bit of house cleaning here, folks. So you can chat. Our shows are interactive. So you can send us comments. We'll put it up on the screen if it's not bad, but we'll put it up on the screen. If you're asking us questions, ask us a ton of questions today around golf courses. What's happening. We have a ton of people on the show today. A lot of amazing vendors, great ideas. That we're going to showcase. We're also got a QR code that's going to come up on the screen. You can take your phone. I'm going to probably geek out a little bit with it too. You can scan the QR code. It's going to send you to our item enrichment pages. It's going to share a lot of information about the products. It's going to have the SUPC, the Cisco Universal product code on there that you can actually write down or copy and put it right into your order. You can order the products today. The show is really to show you ideas, but also have allow you to really to purchase them if you want through our systems and through our sales consultants and also on our e-commerce system. So a lot of great things today. It is jam packed through our ideas. We're going to do a little bit of notes as well. So if you want to watch later we'll have some of the highlights recorded in the bottom that you can go to so i have to binge watch three hours of food shows uh the other thing today is that the show will be on again at one o'clock and then three o'clock so we have three shows always different they're going to be all, all different and then on top of today charlotte and myself <laughs> are going to attempt I don't know if the word attempt is right, Charlotte, but we're going to attempt a maybe, live, maybe for you, a live commercials, for you. three live commercials <laughs> uh, utilizing Maple Leaf's new products, their new plant-based products. And Charlotte's done some amazing recipes and we're going to try to do some live commercials. We got re-record, pre-recorded commercials as well, but we're going to share <laughs> some great information with that live commercial. So, okay. We got lots of stuff, lots of stuff to go through. So much. Big breath, I don't know. Big breath. Big, big breath. breath. Lots big, of coffee. Big breath. Yeah. Lots of coffee. So we're excited today, but really, uh, like Charlotte said, you can uh, please subscribe and follow the SAK network. We're on all social channels that are out there. We're on Spotify. Now, if you download this, the Spotify app and you go to Cisco virtual kitchen, we just started doing our videos also on Spotify. So you can actually watch it on your phone on Spotify as well on YouTube and Facebook, and mm -hmm. you can watch them later. You can watch as much as you want later. Over the weekend, we'll be rerunning the show today, later tonight, and over the weekend as well. So lots of great stuff coming your way when it comes to the ability to watch on demand as much as you want. Binge watch, right, Charlotte? Do a little binge watch. Absolutely. Watching. That's, so, that's how I spend my off time. <laughs> that's how you do you watch my stuff. That's how I spend uh, my off <laughs> I binge watch you, Jay. Thank you. Thank you. Anyways, well, let's enough of us. We're going to turn our cameras off because the real stars are sitting in the green rooms right now. And we're going to bring them all in. And then we're going to do a little around the, around, I don't know how you say it, around the house, I think. And really have a quick chat who they are, what they're going to be showcasing today. We're going to run a commercial and come back. And we're going to dive right into it and get right into these new products, new ideas, and uh, have a lot of fun today. So, are you cool with that, Charlotte? I'm in. Let's I mean, do it. I can't wait to see your commercial. I can't wait to see this. Yeah, I can't wait to see off. it either. Let's let's see how that goes. I can't. Yeah. I'm I'm more excited than you are to see how it goes. <laughs> I ends. don't know. I don't know about that. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. All right. So Katie, let's bring in our guest chefs today. I'm gonna turn my camera off and Charlotte's, and then we'll allow them to be the rock stars. Awesome. Welcome everyone. Hello. Hello. Hi. All right. Well, Hi. We Look at all these amazing people, all these great things we're going to see today. So let's start off with Martin. Martin's been here since six o'clock this morning, <laughs> eager to show us ideas. So Martin, welcome to today's golf show. What are you going to be showing and sharing with us today? Thanks, Jay. Uh, hi, Charlotte. So today it's all about fun food. As you know, uh, on a golf uh, course, what you're looking for, it's always uh, for something tasty. So we'll do uh, little sliders using our Hollandaise sauce. 
I will do some uh, cauliflower steaks that you can turn into bites for a vegan option with our um, uh, with our new vegan sauce. I will also do uh, put some bites with some smoked smoke meat because as you know, we're based in Montreal, so we need to do some uh, Montreal uh, classic dishes. And the last one will be a uh, chicken and uh, a fried chicken with waffle. Nice. Wow. That sounds that sounds actually healthy, which is kind of the you know the ideas that we want to also look at today. So thanks so much, Martin. You're welcome. welcome. So let's go over to Jason Core Foods. Jason, what are we working on today? Yeah, well, I'm I'm I'm, I'm here representing our uh, our client partner, Dr. Ocker, as you can see up here. Uh, we've got some uh, some really cool kind of elevated on trend uh, pizza uh, ideas using our uh, Dr. Ocker pizza planks. And then uh, we're going to finish it off with uh, some some cool drink recipes that uh, you know customers can utilize in their clubhouse. And uh, we're going to have some fun. It's going to be fun. That's awesome. That's awesome, man. Can you give us a little dance just to get us going? Put that apron on. I, nobody just, wants to see that, Jay. I think. Come on, that, man. Uh, just yeah, don't don't dance. Dance. The SVK dance. Yes, it's the SVK yeah. dance. Oh, we didn't tell you that, did we? We didn't say yeah, that. Yeah, there you go. There you go. That's yeah. a yeah. that is the yeah. lane move. A little more hip. Little we more just hip. recreated the Seinfeld hip. episode. Yeah. That's awesome. Well, thank you so much, Jason. Catherine, Hi. what are we doing with Bredore today? Welcome. Thank you. Uh, so today we're going to be talking about two products. So uh, we have a fantastic sweet potato burger bun, uh, which is also a great vegan option. So, uh, and then we're going to be talking about our brand new croissant bun. Uh, so it comes fully baked, pre-sliced, magic all around. And what we're going to do is we're going to flip things around. You know, everyone thinks the bun goes for lunch and the croissant goes for breakfast, but we're not going to do that. We're going to make a big vegan breakfast sandwich, which sounds indulgent that, you know, we're keeping it clean. So it's going to be nice and healthy, give everyone the energy to get out there, grab and go, whatever you like. And then we're going to do a really beautiful uh, crab cake sandwich with uh, grilled citrus on our croissant bun so something a little bit more upscale for you know the lunch or brunch in the clubhouse um just something something different with our croissant bun so so yeah that's what we're doing today is this easier than cooking out of your car um yeah 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 a little bit a little bit yeah that was a good show by the way we did a show that we it cooked was. out of our cars Charlotte. it was fun it was Captain fun that's was exciting though there's nothing wrong with that we had a lot of fun with uh with vehicles and displaying food in the trunks of very very pricely bentley so we had a lot of fun with uh with an event a vip event at a car yeah we show. actually had all of our chefs on a show cooking out of cars in charlotte actually cooked out of the back of her suv i loved it oh hey. i love that catherine and i love your ideas <laughs> today i'm so excited to see the croissant bun very oh, excited fantastic. yeah i am too i am a little stoked awesome. about that yeah Awesome. awesome. Well, let's go over to Ellie. Ellie, the rock star chef, is going Hi, to get. That's a that's a great introduction. Thank Did you, you like Jay. That? Ellie, I love that. welcome, welcome so much. <laughs> Ellie is representing Kruger today, folks, and we're going to put those napkins to the test. You see those wings over there? Chef oh, Ellie yeah. has created some sticky wings. We're going to put those to the test, folks. Nice. Kruger is one of our partners we have here. We love Kruger. They've got amazing products. And we're going to put them to the test. I've been told by Anna over mm -hmm. at Kruger that these napkins are the best napkins for chicken wing eating and you need them in your golf course. So I think we're, do you think, I, you, do you think they're going to be up. okay? You think they're going to be okay? I back that up. I haven't tried it with the wings yet, but I back that up. Yeah, you back Whatever that up? Anna said. Absolutely. After some good food, you do need these napkins. So, Ali, I want to have like the, like, I want like the six year old eating chicken wings kind of thing going on for you. Right? Like, uh, I'll on try, the face, I'll try to, all over. Yeah. I know it's not your style. Mm -hmm. I mean, I do have makeup on. It took a lot of time, so I'll think about it. I'll think about it. We're going to go for it. Well, thanks so much, Ellie. We're excited today. And thank you, Crew Girl, for being on the show. So let's go over to the legend, our chef, Peter. I didn't say old, Peter. So let's go over to the legend. Peter, welcome. You're a little pixelated. I don't know what's going on. Your, your camera crew must need a... 
Hey, what's going on with my camera crew? We're well, going to work on your camera crew. You're a little pixelated. <laughs> well, so, thanks, I, Joe Bob. Just, I there's just more of, Peter, more of Peter to love then. He's in little That's pixels, right. more of Peter to love. So. Yeah, I'm sure his camera crew will fix that. But Peter, yeah. what are you representing? Who are you representing today? And what are you showing to us today? Yeah, well, I'm representing Cardinal Meats today. And we're working with uh, some of their products and some of their products that they make for us, the Fire River Farms Burgers. And we're going to talk about trends. We're going to talk about E. We're going to talk about profitability. And yes, there's some healthy things in there, but today it's about quality and about how you put it together. Plus, I have a few other side things to talk about as we want to make sure we remember and maybe something you've never seen before when you've been on a golf course. So stay Nothing tuned. Nothing before? That. I actually read your last list, Peter. <laughs> I read what you're cooking today. I don't know if that's even legal. <laughs> well, we'll see about that. You see that? Okay, we'll see about that. We're excited today, yeah, folks. Awesome. So excited! All these chefs are going to create amazing ideas. Like I said, take notes. There's a lot coming your way. You know, Jason's not going to do that dance again. Thank God. Um, we're going to have a blast today. So please sit back, enjoy. Katie, let's run a little commercial as we get ready and come back with Martin with some great ideas over there. All right, welcome back, everyone. This virtual kitchen golf show. I'm reading your menu. Charlotte's my co-host today. Charlotte, are you excited to see what the Fontana has got? Oh, I can't wait! I can't wait. I'm really excited about the vegan sauces, especially as well too. Being, oh, trying to be health conscious as I can. It's really great to have those options and those opportunities, especially when you're at a golf course where you have that that fast and furious food coming at you. So it's really great to have those healthy options. So really excited to see what Martin from Luda has to uh, showcase today. Awesome. Let's see. Thanks. So yeah, for the for the first one, uh, as I said, um, I will uh, work with our Hollandaise sauce. This one is an instant sauce, so you can just combine cold water or boiling water. Uh, so what I did, uh, I just used cold water because that's going to be my sauce just to uh, drizzle on the plate. And all the the product, uh, all the gravies today, they are instant, so they're um, already in a bag, pre-measure bag. So you just combine a full bag to four liter of water and you get really a nice consistency. So for the sliders itself, um, and you can do the same thing with a large burger. Um, so, uh, <laughs> so, sorry, I'm not alone. So that's the reason why we, is that, we have a full full crew here. <laughs> are you okay? Um, like we, we can cut to a commercial. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, so yes, uh, I will use a squeeze bottle just to drizzle uh, on and on the burgers itself. Um, again, because they are sliders, so they're a smaller option. And instead of using mayonnaise, the Hollandaise will bring you some uh, lemony and buttery flavor. And it's a nice touch to pair with your um, to, to pair with your um, eggs itself. And it's something really easy to do even on uh, on the golf or after in your uh, restaurants. Wow. Charlotte, I forgot to warn you. These ideas are always awesome. And Martin, that just killed it. No, it's, it's just amazing. And I, I love the idea of a, of a holidays that you can just whip up really quick. I mean, I come from the from the old school where you've got this the, the metal bowl and you're just, you know, you're double whisking with your right, double whisking with your left and, and wondering when your arm is going to fall off. So this is this is incredible to see some of these really great ingenious items that will also save a lot of labor and save a lot of time, which I think is really valuable right now. With what's and that going product on. is uh, vegetarian, by the way. Uh, so it's vegetarian, uh, kosher, and halal. So it's good for pretty much wow. uh, any any needs. Very cool. Wow, there's the bar already set. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Like, I don't know. I'm, re I'm really rethinking these live commercials now, Jay. <laughs> yeah, I know. Hey, eh? like you put it over in store for. But thanks so much, Chef. We'll be back with this Chef again. So we're gonna move over to Jason. Let's go over to Jason. 
Awesome. Jason, don't do that dance again. I'm sorry, dude. Whatever don't you worry. do now, anything that you cook, no one's going to remember. You're just going to remember that dance. Ouch. <laughs> that hurts. Well, you know, I'm probably the only one that's not a chef uh, here today. So no, no, no pressure. Hey, no pressure at all. No, that's okay. No pressure. That's okay. We won't, we won't hold that against you. Okay. Very good. Very good. So, um, yeah, for, uh, first and foremost, um, as I mentioned before, uh, highlighting a couple different products from Dr. Ocker, uh, first and foremost is our, uh, pizza plank. So this guy right here, um, it's kind of a personal size pizza packed three to a pack uh 12 units in a case we have a pepperoni and then a three cheese as well okay so and i have to say that this this product actually has been out for about a year and uh it actually you know it stemmed from some innovation during covid believe it or not um which you know in this you know, and over the, over the last couple of years is a bit of an anomaly. Um, and there's a, you know, uh, expel some myths, you know, I think some people might be a little bit, uh, apprehensive about using a frozen pizza, but, um, in this environment, uh, where labor is, is a challenge, um, you know, these create a great base, um, you know, for your operation and you can customize, uh, with, with a lot of great recipes. Um, you know, the pizzas themselves, uh, the dough, the sauce is all made fresh. Uh, our pizzas are once frozen and, uh, you know, we bring in fresh ingredients, uh, when we make these pizzas. So, um, one of the concepts that, that I put together is, is a bit of a shareable, um, item, uh, that you could you know, you could focus in on, um, your clubhouse and it's just a, you know, a pizza strip, a pizza finger, if you will. Uh, so all I did is I, uh, took the three cheese pizza, finished it off with some Italian herbs, some crushed chilies, a little cracked pepper, cut it into strips. And then I've got a, you know, kind of a creamy Parmesan, uh, aioli, uh, could be marinara, could be a jacked up salsa, um, you know, use some of the items that you already have in your pantry. Um, and you know, from a cost standpoint, I mean, you're under $2 food cost. So there's margin opportunity and, uh, really, uh, uh takes no effort to, uh, to produce. So, so Jason, what we're going to do just cause your camera froze there and we, we got a lot of people watching today's show live. We're just going to skip over to Catherine. We're going to try to fix your camera and stuff like that. And sure. uh, let's move over to Catherine as uh, I know people would be like texting me, the camera's frozen and stuff, but thank you uh, for all the <laughs> messages and stuff like that. Uh, but we're going to get Jason's camera fixed and stuff like that. And then we'll be right back with him because we want to see those great ideas. And I don't know if you saw the QR code. Did you QR code yourself, Charlotte? Uh, yeah, the QR code was there, and absolutely. Did you try it? Did you try it? Yeah, of course I would. It was tried so cool. It, it was so you cool. Bet. That's it's such a Catherine. Such a are you ready for QR idea. code? Your QR code moment. Yeah, yes, I am ready. I'm so, ready. Yeah. Over to you, Catherine. Let's let's, okay. let's see these awesome buns. Yes, let's talk about the buns. Uh, so today we're uh, going to focus on our sweet potato bun uh, for the upcoming golf season. This is a fantastic option. People love, love, love sweet potato. We've had this bun out for a little while now. And uh, what I love, I love so many things about this. Number one, this is just by itself. It's very attractive. It's a great call out on a menu. It's a great upsell on a menu. If you wanted to go in that direction, calling out sweet potato bun. Uh, number two, uh, this is vegan friendly. So if you're creating a vegan menu or if you want to give your customers options, this is a great way to go. Um, and it's super interesting. Also, pre slice. Everyone loves pre slice. So it's hinge slice. You don't like tearing it? You don't like tearing it open? No, you know, as much, you know, sometimes you got to create your own fun, but not that kind of fun, right? <laughs> not when you so, have to do hundreds, Jay. Exactly. Yeah, I was going to say, exactly. yeah, exactly. 
Exactly. Sherlock, can you do me one little favor? You know, I always interact and stuff like this. Can you bring it? Can you come around your counter and show us a close up of that bun? Because it looks so big and cool for a burger. Yeah, for sure. I think you called me Charlotte. Jay, oh, did I? You keep calling yeah, me. Sorry. Like, you keep um, calling I, me. I don't have any buns to show, but. Uh... <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I look it's so okay. Closer, it's closer, right. closer. Catherine, closer. Closer? Okay. Closer. All right. Closer. Okay. Zoom in. Closer. Zoom in. All right. Open it up. Open it up. There you go. There we go. That's going to okay. be cool. Gorgeous. So, the really cool thing about this bun is that uh, it's got this really beautiful, uh, orangey, earthy kind of color to it. I don't know if you can really pick that up here, um, but it's got that very um, uh, sweet potato kind of look to it. And then the flavor- Does it get darker not... when you color it? Like if you grill it? Well, a good question. Let me come back to the camera. <laughs> I like that, eh? <laughs> so this again, it's probably a little hard to pick up, but it does get a little bit darker. It doesn't have that typical like, you know, golden, white on golden. It's got more of that really nice, uh, darker kind of earth tone look to it. So it toasts up really, really nicely, uh, just with a little bit of olive oil. Um, and uh, it's got a great size to it. This is four inches, over four inches, almost four and a half in diameter. Uh, mm -hmm. So really nice size, really nice, impressive volume. Uh, so lots of great things about it. Now, it. what am I doing today? So like I was saying to the team earlier, we think burger bun, we think lunch, burgers, forget that. Let's make breakfast out of it. Let's do Yay. something fun. Yes. And so um, I think I think a lot of people want to go a little bit lighter. You know, we want to kind of tone it down a bit, but you're headed out onto the golf course. You need that energy. So I thought, let's build a big vegan breakfast. So I've got a bunch of fun vegan things here and it's gonna fill up everyone. Uh, so I've already toasted the burger bun, right? I'm gonna put a little pico de gallo on the bottom, you know, cause we have to have vegetables, right? We have to, if we're gonna talk healthy, let's, let's throw some veg in there. So we've got a little bit of that on the bottom. And then I've got some Beyond Meat vegan sausages here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut these in half. I'm just going to go ahead and put one on there. And if you know you want to have that upsell for just a little extra protein, maybe do one and a half. And there you go. So we've got our base covered here. And then I've got some really great aged vegan cheddar. So we're going to put that on top. And then my favorite part is the egg omelet. So while you guys uh, were with Martin, I did a folded egg omelet using the Just Egg liquid egg. Um, but again, you can always find those great patties too. And so we've got this really beautiful vegan breakfast sandwich ready to go. Uh, so this is a great grab and go item for anyone who is looking to sell just for the golfer who's on the go or at the halfway house or for a sit down and i guarantee anyone who has this can have all the energy in the world to go and have their golf game for the day love it love it that'd fill you up for the game that would fill you up absolutely the beginning. absolutely like really delicious everything and the bun so gorgeous so so gorgeous and well, you know like Slice. I, yeah. I know it doesn't seem like a big thing, but it is seriously well, it, a big it, thing. It really is. But the other thing mm -hmm. is, is so when we look at um, things to enhance your menu. I always, I said this many times in my show and stuff like that. Is that it's buns, it's sauces, and it, like are so easy to change your whole menu by just changing your mm -hmm. bun. Right. Absolutely. Even if it's a little bit more, your value on what you put on your menu price. Is much more absolutely. right absolutely and you know when i think people get sometimes get a little hung up like we're in a, in a situation where we need to make up for lost time a lot of a lot of our our restaurants out there need to make up for lost time and it's golf season um and this is a, also a great upsell feature uh you know we kind of get hung up on that sometimes but when people want something they want it they will get it you know and if it's an upsell of a dollar you know that's you know, helping the restaurant out, making the customer happy. If they're interested, they will absolutely go for it. 
That's awesome. Awesome. All right. So would you want to, do you want to come back? We'll come back or do you want, you got another one there, Catherine? I do. I have another one for you. Do you, you guys want to circle back and I'll yeah, we'll circle back. Awesome. Like, like I can only imagine Charlotte, what you're thinking that we could charge for that burger Catherine oh. made. Oh my like God. Big absolutely. It is. Absolutely. Huge. absolutely. And just the versatility of the product yeah. as you know, Catherine yeah. mentioned, it's a vegan bun. Yeah. It appeals yeah. to everyone and you can put that on your menu and, and, and nobody has to know it's vegan. Lots you of know, value. You, can, you get that. Lots of value. In. Yeah, absolutely. And you're covering you're covering an amazing demographic by putting that product in there. So, oh, I just want to see that croissant. I'm getting really pumped. I know. Look, I how, high that bur- look how high that bun there. goes. Yeah, yeah I want to see. Like, I want to eat both of those sandwiches. So yeah. just let me know when I can come over after the show. You got it. Anytime. <laughs> you just let me know. I'll unlock the door. You come on in. <laughs> awesome. And then we had the QR code up there. I don't know. I geeked out. I QR code it. It's got amazing information. I love the fact that it's a clean deck of labels. Yeah. I love that. Well done. Awesome stuff. Absolutely. No MSG, no artificial sweetener. Awesome yeah. stuff. Vegan friendly. Yeah, it is for door clean label. We are very proud of our clean label program. So, you know, and we, you know, you don't think a pastry company is going to go towards the side of like vegan, but this is, this is a big deal for us. And we, you know, we've done a really great job with that. So love there you it. Go love it okay. i love it um and i love the box they come in too i don't know if you see it on the item enrichment page or charlotte but yeah it's, they look really cool in a box yeah. it is it's, it's it's very slick i love it all right well let's yeah. get thank you so much Catherine. we'll be right back we're yeah. gonna go over to ellie and test this napkins out test these things out Let's do it. I really want to be in Catherine's kitchen right now, but yeah. uh, <laughs> let's stay here for the moment. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, we're going to start first with the Cisco Complete Dispenser Mechanism right here, which is paper towel, and it can be used in the kitchen and in the washroom as well, whatever you want to do. Uh, very easy to use. You just, you know, roll it out like that. It has this nozzle right here on the side as well, which is great. I don't know if you can see, Jay. Can you see it? Oh, yeah. yeah. No, absolutely. Yeah? Okay. okay, great. <laughs> so it does has, have a key uh, option, so you can lock it to prevent theft or any of that thing, because this paper is so good that people might actually steal it. Uh, so we can prevent that as well. It has 800 feet of uh, paper towel, so it does limit the changing times. You know, you don't have to go very often and change the rolls. Um, It has a great quality. I have tried this the entire week. I'll be honest. I've tried everything the entire week because, you know, the amazing Anna speaks so highly of the products and I got so lucky to try them. And, you know, excuse me. When you're drying your hands and you have some little bits and pieces on your hands and some fall on the floor, this paper towel won't do that. So it's great. That's good for littering and it's also good, you know, for bacteria during these times and germs. Your hands are completely dry, so you don't have to worry about any of that. So this is the Cisco Complete Mechanical Dispenser. And Ellie, is that, uh, is that a double roll as well, too? You have two rolls within dis- the dispenser, or is it just the one roll mechanism? No, this one is one. The paper towel is one. It has the key option to lock it, and it also you can also pull it, but they also have the senseless option as well. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, pretty awesome. Nobody wants to touch it with wet hands, so I like that. Exactly, yes. And that was it for the first product. Should I move on to another one or are we switching to another chat? No, we can definitely, if you want to do the challenge with the chicken wings, we'd love to see that. I know Jay well, mentioned sure. well, you know what? Let's just hold. Or hold off? Okay. Let's just hold on that one. Let's yeah, we can back. use some other ones. Yeah, because I know. You ran away, Jay. You ran away, so I wasn't I know, sure sorry. I, I, had, I had a mute button. Um, but yeah, it, uh, <laughs> sorry. Uh, but we'll be back with Ellie and those wings and those napkins, and mm-hmm. we'll put them to the test. 
Those look sticky. I'm excited those to look see sticky. The those look really sticky. I don't know if those napkins look are going to do it. Unbelievably sticky. I mean, if I shake this plate, the plate, they don't move. They do. <laughs> I know. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. All right, let's go over to Peter Ecker. He's just dying. Did you get your camera fixed there, Ecker? Yeah, he did. Look at that. Oh, looking good. Yeah, we got to <laughs> unmute him, though. There you go, Peter. It doesn't work inside of movies, Jay. You know? Yeah, I, know. <laughs> I know. I know. I know. The, the first product that I have is the uh, the four ounce patty. The, uh, yeah, yeah, from uh, from Fire River Farms and uh, for, of course uh, Cardinal producing that for us. And uh, this was the product here. This is a beautiful size, beautiful consistency, easy to cook, ready in about four minutes. And so my dishes today were going to be some derivative of things that you would have before. So when we're golfing, we really want to make it easy, easy to eat easy to store going from hole to hole so my first one's actually going to be the uh the burger bowl box and uh we're going to put it together so that you're actually not holding any of the any of the wet greasy stuff in your hand so what i've done is i have pre-cooked a, a burger for us for our demo but i wanted to keep the ingredients very common to the kitchen so that we didn't have to grow our skews too much as we keep it tight and accurate so the first thing i did was i toasted half a bun, half of the hot dog bun in some butter, and I have the hamburger here. So basically you're gonna take this from your prep, you're gonna put it in the frying pan, and I have some green ingredients that we're gonna incorporate with it to put in the box. So here we go. Put that on the fire, we got the box here. And what I've decided to do is, you know, you can serve it with some chopsticks instead of a fork if you want to, uh, but uh, having, a, having a fork is very easy to deal with. I'm using the classic, uh, French fries here. I'm going to keep things deconstructed in the box. People like to see that. So as we put things in the box and we have the, uh, the hot fried rice here, I'm using some basmati because it's a whole grain rice, right? So adding that healthiness to it in the corner. And then we have some of the common vegetables that we see on the courses. I have some eggplant and zucchini, a hothouse tomato, some mushrooms, and some grilled serrano peppers. So depending on what you're using for a pepper or whether you're uh, you know using that these are a lot of common products so i like to keep the cube size the same as what we've done with the crouton and with the beef and this is going to be for the show in the box and for the consistency of eating it so this is really important we got the mushrooms already done we got the serrano pepper here you can leave it whole or you can cut it up and mix it in whatever you're, uh, you're, you're comfortable with. This was really important here. And of course, I have some Hosen sauce, some of our great sweet chili, a little bit of the uh, avocado uh, pulp and some cheese curds. And this is what we're gonna put in the box. Nice. So here it is here, nice and hot and ready to go. We wanna get our two sauces in the, drizzle it on, get it mixed up into the bread and the, and the hamburger. A little bit of the sweet chili. This is when the vegetables go in. Put them all in the frying pan, get it all heated up. Magic of television. Here it is, <laughs> right? So you don't need to see me cooking this stuff. You just need to get the ideas, right? So that's right, Peter. Sorry. Absolutely. This is, this is really, really, look at that. This is a half a bun and one four ounce burger. Look how much that looks like. Incredible so value. Hard. When so your customer hard. opens this up and sees the, uh, sees Wow, I got this for the same price as a burger. You probably could charge another two dollars for it. But the food cost is a little lower. So here it is, golden bowl. We got a couple little cheese curds going in, not a lot. Our garnish, a nice little avocado pulp. It was right on top. Okay. I made a rice filled taquito earlier just to sort of stick it in here. Very economical. It's about maybe 10 cents, 15 cents. And we have ourselves an incredible burger bowl. There's so much food in there, Peter. I can't even think you can close it. <laughs> I'm sure you can eat it in 30 That's seconds, good. though. <laughs> but this was the important part of keeping clean. All right? So yeah. you got the box, okay? You get it out to the course. You pick it up from the nine hole. Or you pick it up at the clubhouse before you head it out. And the important part of, uh, of this is that not only that, it fits right in the cart, right in front where you're going. So you can put it away. You can go and tee off or you can go finish putting. You can come back, you can open up the product. It's pretty much ready to go again and your hands are all nice and clean. So that was really the whole idea of the burger box or the burger bowl in a box. And uh, this is also 
you know, uh, can go right in the garbage. You don't have to worry about recycling. We're using a compostable fork right now. But whatever you have, it, it's really important to keep your customers uh, comfortable to order the food. So something like this for sure is at fifteen to seventeen dollar range, which it costs you probably around three and a half dollars. So wow. that was my first dish, burger in a box. Wow, love it. Love it. Love it. Wow, did you did you see that coming, Charlotte? I didn't see that. Coming. I did not see that coming, and I'm blown away. I love it. I, there is a dish that Peter's going to make components when you're on the course, and yeah. oh, that's really smart, really smart. Right, you know it's interesting. Peter's actually going to make a burger today that in his notes that he's going to serve it with gloves. I don't know what the what he's going to be creating there. I'm kind of worried about it. it with, with love or with, with gloves. gloves, not with oh, love, yeah. with gloves. Or, or with gloves. Not with love for love. No. <laughs> there we go. That's awesome. So, anyways, we're going to be back, folks. We're going to run a quick commercial. We're going to come around for round two of today's virtual golf show, elevating your menu for this 2020, 2022 season for golf yeah. courses. We'll be right back after this message. All right, let's go to Chef Martin. Chef Martin, round two. Perfect. So thanks, Jay. So for that one, uh, I will be using one of our uh, new plant-based gravy. So it's a uh, plant-based beef, ba uh, beef beef gravy. Sorry. Um, and the good thing with this one, it's under Luda H because it's uh, reduced in sodium. So you got room to cook. Uh, I'm, I will use this uh, with some uh, cream oyster mushroom and onions to create something again tasty and uh and great but because in general we use seasoning on any steaks uh it's good to balance your uh, sodium level so first in my frying pan i do have some uh, I, I do have the mushroom and onions i'm just cooking them right now but i will <laughs> finalize everything live in front here all right <laughs> So does Charlotte, do you find that gravies a lot of people are asking from what you're seeing out there in the marketplace for those vegan gravies now, Jace? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, absolutely. Uh, because it's always tough. You know, you want a, a really great poutine, you want something really fun, you know, as Chef Martin is working on, and a lot of people go, Oh, well, is it beef based? Oh, well, is it chicken based? So it's it's really great to see those options out there. And I think this is such mm -hmm. an innovative product to have a vegan vegetarian um option for a gravy or a sauce yeah i agree totally agree thanks so what i did i prepared the gravy itself alone as you can see it's a really nice texture I'm using some uh cream too just to change the color a little bit so at the last minute you can really create your um your sauce a nice creamy sauce for your uh for your steaks and, and that is, it. it's, it's so creamy, Martin, so creamy. It's got that nice element. There's no, no lumping, nothing like that, that you would normally find from a product like that. So well done. And it's a really nice, uh, smooth, it's a, it's a nice smooth and creamy sauce itself. So even if you add mushroom or anything else without the cream, you will just have a darker, uh, gravy, but the taste is there and the texture is there. So what I did, I did some cauliflower steaks. Again, you can use steak spice uh, on it if you want to bring that barbecue experience. Um, and just, we'll just add those mush the mushroom sauce. Oh my gosh! On it. <laughs> this is I'm pretty good, Charlotte. Right now, I'm salivating because I'm a, a huge fan of the cauliflower steak because cauliflower, just like the mighty potato, is so versatile. Because I see the potatoes there with uh, Martin as well. So I never, ever thought in a million years to do a mushroom sauce over cauliflower. So that's I didn't think that's so either. really smart. Really and it's smart. tasty. You know, all the mushrooms, they contain natural MSG. So it's a nice way to enhance your flavor without adding sodium. Oh, wow. Wow. That's, that's even better. <laughs> can it get any better? I don't know if it can get any better. I know. Look at yeah, those waffles good. there. They're sitting there. I know. In the corner. I know. Yeah, look at that. You want, to go, 
You want me you to talk go about there? one or you, you want to go for it? You can go for it, buddy. Perfect. Let's go. So, let's dive in. It's perfect. So for that one, uh, of course, uh, deep fried chicken and uh, waffle, they're really popular. So I will just that one around. Voila. So. Oh, I know. Hey, Charlotte. Yeah. yeah. Looking good. So this this one is our uh, instant turkey turkey gravy. As you can wow. see, it's a really nice uh, light brown color. So that's gonna pair well with your uh, with your chicken, and then we need some maple syrup around. Charlotte, who knew that chicken and waffle, fried chicken and waffles, was gonna be such a big hit many years yeah, ago? Yeah, and, and with that, everything, right? with everything know, too. Hey? It's just, and how, yeah, the combination, sweet, savory, salty, you know, it's got that whole umami and I just, I absolutely love it. And I love the addition of a little bit of heat too, because you always yeah. have to have a little heat with everything. Especially the sweetness, right? Yeah, yeah you really absolutely. need to balance. That's correct. If you yeah. don't, it's going to, you, you will feel just the sweetness with the gravy, but you, there is missing something. So I, I use fresh jalapeno because I like them. Mm -hmm. I don't like the pickle one uh, because it's tough to balance the flavor, uh, but I you can it. use whatever you want. Yeah. And it also has a little bit of acid too from the fresh jalapeno, yep. which I love. And you kept the seeds. So I am such a huge fan of yours because I do love the spice and I love to kick it up. So I appreciate that you left the seeds. So. <laughs> love it I, man so love i will it. have a last one but i can keep that one that one for the last sure. round if you want all right let's do that let's Perfect. go over to jason jason's back camera's good now i you know i i, I hope so um <laughs> how am say, I jason, are, you, say. are you cooking in the dark <laughs> is that is this is this a new new svk cooking in the dark uh oh. I don't think well, so. Not yet. Not we'll yet. Not there. yet. Not yet. Uh, All right, Jason, let's give it a try. All right. Sounds good. Um, listen, um, I know we talked about pizza planks and uh, um, talking about versatility and sort of elevating. Um, yep. So one of the things that uh, that I put together is a is a bon me um, pizza plank. So that's utilizing our three cheese uh Dr. Ocker pizza plank. And then it's topped off with some pulled pork, uh, which is seasoned with some soy sauce and some sriracha. And then I've got a spicy sesame uh, mayo uh, that's got mayo, uh, sesame oil, some sriracha, a bit of a quick pickled um, uh, vegetable slaw that's got carrot, radish, cucumber, and then topped off with some fresh cilantro. Um, you know, so you're, you're, you're taking that base, you're elevating it, uh, could be a really great clubhouse, uh, menu item. And, and with that as well, um, I've turned it into a, a panini, uh, style as well. So a bit of a sandwich application, uh, oh, served wow. with a little bit of slaw on the side. And, uh, I mean, in my opinion, you could do this sandwich uh, either wrapped in foil or put in a fry bag as kind of a grab and go option at the, uh, at the turn, you know, it doesn't have to be a hot dog. It doesn't have to be a, you know, I know, I think tuna sandwiches are Jay's, uh, uh, you know, top choice. Maybe, maybe not. Yeah. Um, no, I, you know what? I don't <laughs> mind them. I'm just, maybe not the top, but I don't mind them, but yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, and then I, I, I'd be remiss if, if I didn't talk about uh, our, our Langus uh, uh, bar mix. So we have a lemon and lime bar mix. Um, I remember using this uh, back in my uh, restaurant operation days back in the 90s. Uh, so it's kind of tried and true. Um, you know, but, you know, when you're sitting at the clubhouse, um, what but better way to you know, kind of wash down that, that bon me pizza or, uh, you know, the shareable, um, appetizer that I, that I made earlier, um, with a little bit of a lime beer slush. Oh, so wow. this is, this is just the bar lime and that, you know, it could be bar lemon too. 
Um, but there's your uh, your schooner of beer with a little bit of lime <laughs> slush on top. You know, we used to call sp- those, man. Way back, <laughs> I'm telling, like way back, and yeah, D- used to call danger- my, I, dangerous I, when you were double fisting it. We called them icebergs. Yeah, icebergs. Yep. yeah, icebergs. Hundred percent, hundred percent. And that's totally that's do. amazing. What a way to incorporate the beverage and the food. Because sometimes we we forget about that beverage part, and there's so many opportunities and so many creative and innovative things we can do. Um, like I I see that beautiful Caesar coming up here. So yeah, well I know I like the good old Caesar. Uh, love it. Yeah, I mean I'm a I'm a fan of sitting on the sitting on the patio after after a round and um, chugging back a few Caesars. So this is actually a sriracha lime Caesar. Oh. So we've used our langus bar lime mix with some clamato some sriracha um you know i've rimmed the glass with with a little bit of steak spice i mean but you could do some coarse salt uh celery and then a little skewer of some sweet and uh sour gherkins um lime wedge boom you're loving it and I, awesome. I love that classic Caesar and, and there's so many great things you can do with so many different toppings with a Caesar. I mean, I saw a Caesar that had an a, a whole egg McMuffin on it. And then I saw one that actually had an entire five course menu with cheesecake. <laughs> yeah. Well, it, yeah, those are, those are $60 Caesars, but uh, yeah, yeah, pretty exactly. impressive because the Caesar <laughs> is a meal in a glass. So I just, I absolutely love that. And it's refreshing. Yeah. It's, it's your right sitting out on the on the patio, just taking in the scenery and enjoying a Caesar and a gorgeous panini. 100%. So one, one, one of the things I want to, Katie, can you throw that quote up there that we looked up some of the trends for 2022 and this in relationship to the beverages there. Do you want to throw that back up there, Katie? So what we're seeing right now is that we're looking at these tasting formats. So if you're looking to do like a Caesar or some icebergs and stuff like that, you could do that in those, in the, um, like you can offer, you know, three or four different flights and stuff like that within yep. those areas. And what I like about this is it actually, it, 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 it's, it, incre- it increases, I guess, conversation. You can share them, especially in that golf course. And you're starting to see this come back again, especially after post COVID and what, you know, obviously we can start doing appetizers again, sharing platters, all this stuff mm-hmm. um, that we're getting back into this. And I can see us, I can see a total flat or total different take on four or five different you know smaller versions of those caesars and things like that so it is a big trend we're seeing comebacks we're seeing to golf courses um, because we want them to stay longer too and by doing that it does get them to stay longer because they're there it's an experience and i think we heard that today from matt's talk uh, quite a bit is creating experiences for our customers when they're at our golf courses so love it dude love it 100 percent. love it awesome. just don't dance again and we'll be good buddy <laughs> No, no. I love zero the dance chance. Personally. Zero and chance. Zero chance. Eh? Come up with an SVK wrap next time. Yeah, maybe, exactly. Maybe that's where Oof. we need to go with that. You know, I've, awesome. got, I, I've got a, I've got a 19 and 20 year old. They don't want to hear me rap. No, no, I don't either, buddy. <laughs> Anyways, thanks so much, Jason. We're gonna go over to Catherine. Thanks, guys. Love it. Let's go over to Catherine. There was the QR codes are also coming up on the screen. Okay. So get your cameras out, folks, and uh, QR codes. So Catherine, over to you. Hi. I'm back. Okay. Croissant buns. These are super exciting. So we uh, just started uh, with these. And what is fantastic about this, uh, everyone is always asking us, do you have anything that's fully baked? Do you have anything that's fully baked? And we, in response, it was a project actually that we started working on long before COVID, but uh, we set up the projects and uh, in the summer of 2020, we introduced our fully baked uh, line of pastries, and along with it, we have our croissant bun. So I'm going to come up a little bit closer, like I did yeah, before. Yeah, I was going to so say you got to bring that up. See. Yeah, come on and up, see. Catherine. Let's see. All the- right, okay. <laughs> here I come. Okay, so this is the croissant bun. Okay, wow. So we had something cool. similar to this. We called it the bun roll, and it was a pre-proof, pre-egg wash product. But then we thought, you know what? Let's just help our friends out here. Let's fully bake this, which we did, and let's slice it, okay? So this is awesome. Now what you have is a perfectly baked croissant. So this is all butter, clean label so croissant as a bun. So we're not, you know, I love croissants. Trust me, I, I 
big croissants. Uh, but you know, they've got that, that long shape to them. Sometimes they're a little tough to uh, turn into a sandwich. And every time someone sees a croissant, they automatically think, oh, breakfast. Oh, I've got to put a chicken salad on there. Oh, I've got to make a turkey sandwich. This helps to people to kind of think outside that box, like build your burgers on here, build your breakfast sandwiches for sure. But today, what I'd like to show everyone is, hey, let's let's bring the croissant bun into lunch. And my personal thought, perfect, perfect, perfect for brunch. I think this is a great brunch idea. Uh, so um, what I did was I went ahead and toasted one of our croissant buns. I'm going to come back over, show everyone how perfectly that toast mm. all buttery and golden and crispy on the edges. So perfect for that and then i'm gonna build a uh, little crab cake sandwich on here so thinking about golf courses we want people to come into the clubhouse on you know for brunch we want them to stop off for lunch before they head home this is a great way uh, to bring them in give them something hearty but it's not a burger it's something a little bit different but something that everyone can get on board with uh, so first I'm going to start with uh, some avocado mayo here. So I just took a uh, avocado, smashed it up, added some uh, Hellman's mayonnaise to it, and a little bit of cilantro, a little bit of lime, salt, uh, and pepper. So that's oh, going to be our that's base because cool. we want really something cool. yeah. a little indulgent here, right? Like, oh, like you, Charlotte, I'm I'm all about the indulgence. Oh yeah, let's. Yeah, come on. We got to go out. We're celebrating. We're getting out yeah. of COVID, right? We're going to go eat and eat and eat. For sure. For sure. Right, but there's avocado in here, so it's okay. Is it indulgent? Yeah. I don't know. It's there's great. avocado in here. Healthy it's fat. Great. It's healthy fat, Catherine. Healthy fat. Exactly. Exactly. Butter. And I'm healthy eating fat. this. <laughs> I'm eating this later, so I'm putting a bunch on. So nice. on top of that, I've got a crab cake, a really beautiful oh. crab cake. Did you make that, that by has, What's that? Did you make that crab cake by hand? I maybe did. Okay, as you say, it's beautiful. Like, it's, it's gorgeous. Well done, yeah. It's and it's what, hard yeah? to do. I love the the size of it. Usually, when you get a crab cake, mm -hmm. you can eat this like thirty thing. of them. Yeah. And this, yeah. yeah, I could eat at least yeah. five of those, though. However, I think. Oh, <laughs> for sure, for sure. And it's, I mean, who do, again? This kind of goes back to that that menu pricing thing. This is that yeah. thing that people, if you want this, you're going to get it. No one's going to stop and say, well, if it was $2 cheaper, maybe like this is, this is a great item to have a great upsell item to have on your menu. So we've got the crab cake. And then what I did was I took lemons and limes and I grilled them in a pan and I caramelized them. Uh, so since our last uh, chat, I put these in the pan, thinly sliced, and I just went ahead and caramelized them. So you've got that really beautiful citrus in there. And I actually um, I actually uh, toasted the crab cake or cooked the crab cake in with uh, the lemon and lime slices. So it gets that really nice citrusy infusion. So you've got that bite of citrus in there. We're just gonna top it off with some um, micro radish. And we've got a really beautiful Sandwich Chef here. Ellie is next, and she's like eyeballing this. I'm watching her. Well, listen, the Ellie. I'll, below, right? She's going on. Oh, yeah. This. I'll trade you no, those I, chicken wings for this. No exactly. problem. <laughs> I did the chicken wings. I, I don't know. Though, that bun is just brilliant, though. I just think it's brilliant. It, it really is. It's a beautiful bun. You know, it allows operators out there to go ahead and do something really special. And, you know, it, it's versatile, uh, kind of like what Chef Peter was saying. You know, we need things that can go from breakfast to lunch mm -hmm. to dinner. Mm -hmm. You could turn this into a dessert, put whipped cream on here, put strawberries, and you've got a strawberry croissant shortcake. Like, it's super, super versatile. And because this is thaw and serve, there is no waste. Take out what you need and just go ahead and, you know, put the rest back in the freezer. So, you know, this is this is something that there should be zero, zero waste on. So... And then I've just paired it with a little fingerling potato salad with asparagus and some chives. And this is a really beautiful brunch um, uh, menu offering or something for lunch. People are gonna feel satisfied. They're gonna feel like, you know, they ate something really good, but they didn't like dive off the deep end and, you know, have their usual burger and fries. 
That's but if awesome. they want to, don't forget the sweet potato burger bun. Exactly. Hey, ah, Catherine, okay. can you come around and bring that closer to the screen? <laughs> Absolutely. No, I'm going to ask you to do that, right? No, so let's course. let's take a look at this, folks. Uh, I think Katie's been throwing out the QR code there on that. Yeah. So look at that. There oh, we go. That's that's, cool that's the image. Yeah. 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 So great option. Love this idea that. for brunch. You know, I, I always talk about brunch. Honestly, when I talk to customers, I'm like, what What are we doing for brunch? Let's talk about that. So you know, great thing to do. And I love the jar too. Keep it light. Yeah. yeah. Love the jar. Not nice, you know? Yeah, it's just it's it's cleanly presented, and yeah. that's that's what it's about. And and I look at it. That's a late night snack, Catherine. That's oh, that's yeah. my midnight snack. That's my midnight snack. That's well, just guess boring. who's guess who's having brunch uh, when they <laughs> when they finish up here? This lady. Yeah. All right, all right. Well, I'm excited about what's next. Awesome is the chicken wing napkin challenge, Chef drum Ellie. Roll. Drum, drum roll. roll, drum roll, drum roll. <laughs> Drum roll. <laughs> but before we go there, we're going to do another product before these beautiful napkins right, right here. Right, and we're going right. to talk really quickly about the Cisco Complete Bathroom Tissue Dispenser. Look how small it is, how portable, how great it is. It doesn't take a lot of space. Uh, I have the key option right here to change the rolls, but they also have the keyless option, which is awesome if you don't want to touch anything. And the best part is that it's 15 feet long about that. So you don't have to really change it very often uh, or you can keep it forever, uh, depending on how many bathrooms you have. So it's awesome. It's great. And we actually use this at Centennial College, the keys, keyless option. Awesome. So it's awesome. Yeah. And now we're going to go okay. into Cisco's two ply <laughs> dinner napkin. And we're gonna do a little demo of how good this napkin is. It is very high quality. It's biodegradable. It's sustainable. It has all the good things. It's huge, like a blanket. So it can all cover right. your lap and it's great. And it's amazing for greasy food. All right, here we go. Them, here you go, Anna. Right here. Anna's watching yeah. right now. And I was like, Jay was gonna do something. This is what I want right here, Anna. Let's put those Hi, napkins across. All okay, right, here we go. Right, so this is what people do, right? We know we eat healthy, but they get the chicken wings. Like, mm -hmm. come on, come on, Ellie. I know, yeah. come on, dive into I it. Know. Dive in, come on. Like, I've, yeah, yeah, yeah. You had a beer, like, you're having some wings. <laughs> I just, you know, the instinct is to review the food, but we're not talking about the wings now. Here are my All hands. Right. There you go. Is that get him, oh, here we go? Here is the test. Here we go. It's okay. I'll eat. I'll right. eat some later as well. Don't worry. I'll test another napkin there as you well. Go. There you go. There you go. Okay. Because what I happens my... is, is you you get cheap napkins. You use a million of them, right? Exactly. We see it all exactly. the time. Right? Yeah, and and not only that, you use that napkin, and then it shreds in your hand because your fingers are so sticky. The napkin is so thin, it just sticks to your fingers, and you get these little pieces of tissue all over so the, exactly that's, and you oh, don't wow. get that with this on the napkin too how clean it is my oh, hands are clean Ellie. and i've i've only used one side of the napkin that's it that's all wow. i used i still have more napkin here i still have more napkin clean napkin here so and i can open it one more time that's and amazing. i still have space to get dirty so this is awesome great product i i truly love it it really does the job and I'll get go. dirtier next time with the next <laughs> napkin, Jay. I promise. That's awesome. There you go, folks. Awesome. So we're going to move over to Peter, and then we're going to do our first live commercial, Maple Leaf commercial, with Charlotte. She's going to go get prepped right now, uh, and then we're going to move over to Peter. So, Peter, what are we doing here, buddy? What do we got, Peter? Oh, fantastic. Yeah. Okay, so... We're going to do a, a, the Philly steak burger because, of course, we're going to be working with the great 6.2 ounce prime rib burger. And we're going to show that inside the hot dog bun. We also have that vegetarian burger that I wanted to show you with the 90 degree rule. So here she comes. Okay. So we got the, this great hot dog bun. And, of course, it's going to take on all of these great ingredients that we're going to stuff inside it. I know we heard earlier. I don't know if I could finish that thing. Well, here we go. This is what's going to go into the Philly burger. Okay. So we got the diced tomatoes. So I'm going to do this just like the Napoli sub burger. 
of a Napoli sub, steak sub in Niagara Falls. A little bit of some lettuce, right? This is gonna be important. We got all of our products that we normally use. We have our cayenne pepper, we have our chili flakes, and we have our kosher salt. And that all goes right in here in the mix, okay? The great thing about this is not just that, because of the size of this burger, I'm gonna use half. I'm only gonna use half, okay? You can see it right there. That's what we're doing. And okay, I half a burger, food. Peter. You did half a burger. I did half a burger. That's it. Half a burger. That's it. That's it. Yeah. So we're so using two I, two dishes out of one burger. Exactly. Right. So <laughs> depending on what you're what you're looking to do. So here we got all of our products. We got our sautéed peppers and our onions all go in the bowl, just like that. Okay. We have our hot burger. We got the bun toasted. We got the mix going. Right. We got a little bit of the, uh, I'm going to use a little bit of this buffalo slob and we'll get back to it just to give you so a little Peter, bit of it. Yeah. Katie's got the QR code up there on the burger. That's a big bur burger patty, right? Like it's six ounces, right? 6.2 ounces. Yep. That's a big one, right? Like so cutting it in half isn't cheesing out, people. It's it's a lot of beef. Exactly. Sure is. It's still over three ounces cooked. So we got the burger in there picking up all the flavors. But the great part of what we're going to do is we're going to show about setting the sandwich. Okay, here we go. So you just push the bread down a little bit. You got all those great ingredients. You grab the burger, put it in here. Just like that. You grab the cheese, you stick it in, put it down here like this. Okay, and here comes the magic. Here's the magic. Look at Chef Ali. Look how close she is to the screen. She's watching like, like a teenager again, watching food. How are we gonna eat this? Well, we're gonna set the sandwich, Jay. Here she okay. comes. And you do this in the back of the house before you send it out. You get it all nice and tight. Roll it up. And then you get your plate ready. Okay? So I'm going to use this plate here, and I got some kettle chips that I cooked off earlier. We're going to put them underneath. This is something you'd serve in the restaurant. Of course, you could always serve this on the side. I like to put some of the spices right on the chips. Right? Just like that. Okay, now our sandwich is ready. So here we go. Back of the house, unroll it up. Nice. Look at this. <laughs> Prime rib burger stuffed in the, in the hot dog bun. There you and go. of course, we wanted to talk about our 90 degree rule burger, Jay. So yes, we have the. Yes. Uh, Do you want to come food? back, Peter? Peter, we'll come back sure, on sure, that. Sure. Come on, Let's Jay. come back on that one because that's yeah. kind of like. That's like a game changer thing you're going to do. So, yeah. so Peter, I just got to ask you back on that product you just made there, that dish. So that's literally, you took half the cost of the protein, right? Yes. That you normally would. I so those are big savings. A little bit. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Look at the great colors in that. Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. So cool. So cool. So we're going to go over here to, thank you so much, Peter. We're going to go yeah. over to Chef Charlotte now. She's Chef Charlotte. And Chef Charlotte's going to do our first commercial. So we're going to, folks, we're going to tune into this commercial right now, live commercial of Maple Leaf's new products. And uh, Charlotte, over to you. Chef awesome. Charlotte. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's been a long time since I, I got to hear that. So I created a, a few fun dishes here. So let's start over on this side. Um, so this is kind of an appetizer uh, section. I might have to just move things a little bit more, kind of switch the camera. Uh, okay. But had a little bit of fun here and uh, created. I'm going to move those gorgeous calzones to the side. So, had a little bit of fun here and did a crack chicken taco. And everything that I am showing here is 100% vegetarian. So, again, all of this can be also switched out to vegan if you'd like. And then I also built some really fun calzones um, that. Uh, that we can work with here, but we'll just finish off the uh, the chicken tacos. And as uh, Chef Catherine did as well, I took some limes and I grilled up the lime so it has that little bit of a umami taste to it. So, and I just like to take these tacos and I like to finish it off with a little bit of cilantro lime crema because who doesn't like added sauce? We're all about the sauces here. So just a lot of fun with that. And these are great for grab and go. And then over to the calzones, I've got a couple sauces here. I did a so garlic. Charlotte. Oh Charlotte. yeah, go for it. I got for this commercial. This yes. so that chicken that is plant based chicken. 
hundred percent. Everything here is plant-based and vegetarian. So these, I actually use the maple leaf, uh, chicken tenders to make the gorgeous, uh, tacos, cracked chicken awesome. tacos. So I'm yeah. going to get, so for, so this is light life. This is by maple leaf from light life. This is plant-based. These chicken bite tender fillets. They've been doing, you know how long they've been making these products, Charlotte? For over 40 years, they've been doing these oh plant-based products. Amazing. Over 40 years. I thought plant-based just happened like five years ago. No, they've been doing this for over 40 years. They're committed into providing consumers with a balanced nutrition and delicious gluten-free so they can feel comfortable. Uh, so people really can feel comfortable making these choices and eating these yeah. amazing products. Look at that. You can feel, you can feel non guilty eating that taco you made. Oh, absolutely. And with the, these calzones as well, too, if you can just take a little bit more of a peek there, they're actually filled with a plant-based pepperoni. No way. So plant-based so, yeah, pepperoni. Plant-based pepperoni. Plant -based pepperoni. Do you want me to yeah. do the spiel on that one? Do the spiel on the plant. -based okay, this, <laughs> this is what absolutely. makes taste happens on menus, right? This is from at field roast, right? They believe in yeah. bold, big, big flavors, bold creations. They are, you know, how long do you think they've been doing this? Oh my God. It's so innovative. It's so <laughs> how long do you think, how long do you think uh, Charlotte, they've been doing this? creating these plant-based pepperonis. How long do you think? I'm going to say 60 years. Not quite. Not quite. <laughs> Not quite, but 20 years. I did try. I did They've try. been handcrafting did these plant-based ingredients to create this. So this is not just yeah. something that came out a few years ago, folks. They've been doing this forever. They know what's happening. And we know that pepperoni is the number one pizza order. You yeah. know that, right? It's huge, right? And it's vegan huge. pizzas are... It's vegan pizzas... Problem are up 123% um, that's mentioned on menus today. So it's a huge thing. You combine them both. Why not? Right. No. Love it. No fee. And, and there are no artificial flavors in that. Sorry. Sorry. No, nothing. No, no. And I was just going to say to Catherine's point too, with these calzones, uh, they are, they are a little bit heartier. My dough uh, really fluffed up when I, when I bait them off. So uh, they're a little heartier, but you can with a calzone, it's such a neutral uh, product. You can, put any type of plant-based option in there, um, any any product you want, you can turn it into a dessert. You can have a dessert calzone. What's more greater than taking this out and it's, you know, filled with uh, ricotta and uh, and jams and all that wonderful stuff. Or one of my favorites, Nutella. You have to put a hazelnut spread in it, so. <laughs> and I, I still it. have uh, one more item I would love to show. So I'm just gonna slide yeah, this over. And okay, once this again, those zones, our extended just, uh, commercial. We're extending the commercial because we're really what we're doing. And this okay, is well, kind of my fun one. This okay. is a take on a chicken waffle nacho. So the chicken is plant-based and the bacon is plant-based. So, and of course you have the waffle. So once again, vegetarian, I always just finish it off with a little bit of maple syrup. And this you can really, really switch up. You can put a hollandaise, you can put a beautiful poached egg on top and drip that down so you've got a gorgeous sauce and it can turn into uh, an amazing breakfast item. So you've got a really so cool, cool take on uh, chicken nachos. Charlotte, do you know 87% of plant-based consumers are interested in plant-based chicken at restaurants? 87%. It's huge. Wow. That's huge. Right? And all of this, and this, this looks, I mean, look at it. It's, it's, you've got the bacon, you've got the chicken, you've got the waffle, the syrup and everything. Once again, totally vegetarian. And you can turn this vegan if you take the waffle and, and switch it out a little bit. And it's just a beautiful, beautiful, shareable plate once again. That's awesome. Well, folks, that was our Maple Leaf first live commercial. There you go, Charlotte, you killed it. Thank you so much. Awesome. Two more we, to go. I'm so we excited. We got two more to, to go, really folks. You what I have next. I'm really excited to showcase what I have next. Awesome. So we're going to wrap up. We got a few more ideas. I think a few of the other chefs that are going to come back on here. We're going to roll to a quick commercial. Come back in here. I think this Cisco Advantage commercial, you're going to want to pay attention to this. Um, but Katie, let's roll that quick commercial. We'll come back with the rest of our chefs. And uh, thanks again, Chef Charlotte. Thank you. Our table is set and we have a seat just for you. 
At Cisco, we love what we do, and that is delivering success for our customers through industry-leading people, products, and solutions. Our team is the difference between good customer relationships and great ones. Your dedicated sales consultant is here to help you grow your business. They will connect you with the products, solutions, and insights you need to grow your profits, streamline your operations, and market your business. They'll offer you customized consultations with our chefs and industry specialists to answer your questions and inspire you. Our specialists can help with protein, fresh local produce, takeout and delivery solutions, and more. And if you simply need someone to answer a quick question, our Customer Connect team is just a phone call or chat message away. Cisco is at the heart of food and service and connecting the world to share food and care for one another. Join us for a seat at the table. Visit cisco.ca to learn more. Awesome. Welcome back, everyone, to Cisco's Virtual Kitchen. So we're just going to bring everyone in here. Uh, we're going to round, kind of bring everyone back in here. Last idea is really quick here. Um, we're going to jump in. I think, Chef Peter, you got a wicked idea that we're going to finish up. But Chef Martin, first of all, welcome back to our virtual golf show. You know, we're killing it today with great ideas with these amazing chefs and people creating different ideas um, really to help you out with your menu for golf season. Golf season this year is going to be amazing. There's been a lot of changes from the menus of the past to what the present is today when it comes to healthy options or just creating that really bigger experience as people go out. We want them to stay in your clubhouse. We want them grabbing the products at the halfway house and really enjoying something different. This is going to be an outstanding golf season and huge for our business when it comes to food and really creating just a, just a, an outstanding experience for people eating and enjoying your products at your restaurants and your clubhouses and all that stuff. So outstanding. So Chef Martin, do you want to just wrap up any last ideas there or last comments before we go on? Yep, of course. So what I will do uh, on the last one, I will do the puts and bites. Uh, so just to show you how easy all the instant gravies are, you just combine uh, your powder into cold water or boiling water. You mix with a whisk for about, I would say maybe 10 seconds, and you wait for about a minute. So all the starch will uh, become uh, more creamy, and the putsin sauce itself, it's uh, more like a thinner sauce. So that's gonna give you something really easy to do and authentic. So what I did for the putsin, I baked some uh, small yellow potatoes. So you bake them about 20 minutes at 350, mm -hmm. And then you just uh, cut them in half, remove uh, the potato in uh, inside, and you can stuff those little uh, potatoes as you wish. So what I did, uh, I stuffed them with some smoked meat. Um, again, the curds. And as you can see, right away, you got a nice instant sauce to use. So we'll just drizzle a little bit on. And that's an easy way to create something based on what you got in your fridge. So you can use any leftover, like your from the, the prime rose beef from a bank uh, for, uh, for, from uh, your menu, or any other meat. Or if you want to go vegan, just use any uh, protein that we saw earlier. Awesome! Thank you so much, Chef. And great ideas, really quick. I, I love how easy it is because I know back in the day, doing those kind of sauces took forever. So. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Charlotte, you, you you back yet from putting the chef in? Oh, God, I've, been, I've been watching this whole thing okay, for chef. Okay. I'm just absolutely <laughs> speechless. It's like mini Rubens. They look gorgeous. Yeah, they do. So awesome. So Jason, let's go over to Jason here quick. Jason, last comments. Yeah, just, uh, you know, one thing I wanted to, to touch on quickly was uh, more so from a, from a tournament standpoint and men's and ladies night. Uh, utilizing the uh, the pizza plank. Um, I mean, I've just right here, uh, this is literally, you know, cutting one plank into uh, four different triangles. I mean, you could cut that down into into eights if you want, but it could be a nice little uh, appy uh, item on the on the buffet table for your tournaments. Uh, again, for your men's and your ladies night. 
you know, uh, I've just topped it off with some chopped basil, a little uh, uh, balsamic uh, glaze. Uh, but I mean, it, it's really endless in terms of the, of, of the toppings uh, that you can put on there. Um, you know, and then getting back to ladies night, which is, you know, very important. Uh, using our Langus uh, uh, Bar Lemon Mix. Uh, this is a raspberry lemonade senorita. So it could be maybe a feature drink that you have that night. And it's utilizing our, our Langus Lemon Bar Mix, some raspberry juice, a little tequila, some Cointreau or Triple Sec. And then, uh, you know, a little uh, fresh raspberry garnish on a skewer, lemon slice, some coarse sea salt around the rim and uh the ladies will love it so and awesome really at the end of the day that's what matters right that's awesome and you can make those into mocktails as well yeah, yeah. i mean sub 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 the sub the booze for a little bit little splash of oj and um and you're laughing shake love it on it. ice and, and you're good to go so love it well thank you so much jason those are great ideas really simple um let's go over to chef Catherine. thanks jay thank you hi, hi. yeah just uh, just want to say, you know, if there's ever anything that Bredora can help with, any thoughts, anything you want to look at, definitely reach out to us. We want to come and make sure that you know about our products. Uh, we love sampling, uh, so definitely call on us. We'll find the right product for you. We have so many different sandwich carriers uh, that are great for golf season. Uh, so many things to pick from pastries and whenever whenever the people think about Bredor, they think about oh Danish and croissant and that's a breakfast thing but there are so many different things you can do with our products so many uh, day parts that we can help with whether it's breakfast lunch dinner appetizers uh, we've got the ideas just let us know we would love to meet and you know find the right solution Awesome. Thanks so much, Catherine. Those are awesome. I love that croissant bun still. I'm still feeling I, I'm just there. addicted to it, too. Yeah, just that's kind of just blown away, right? Well, but that other bun is a big, like, I can see that with, mm. uh, you know, a burger, a plant based burger, whatever, that Absolutely. volume there and that bun is huge. So, Absolutely. And you it's all day. Breakfast bun, lunch, so you dinner. do a, a bottom of the potato bun and then the top of the croissant, and then you've got a, a really cool sandwich. Going. Yes. <laughs> right. Hello. Right? Fantastic. Charlotte, I love that. <laughs> I know, and uh, the croissant's going to turn into a French toast. You know that. The yeah, exactly. Oh, grilled cheese. Oh, yeah, grilled, cheese. Yeah. grilled cheese. Yeah, Ooh, grilled yeah. cheese. Too many that ideas. Be... Yeah. Too many ideas. I know, Love right? it. <laughs> Love it. And Bedard products are so good anyways. So. Oh, just beautiful. Yeah. Love They're it. phenomenal Thank products. You. Thanks so much, Thank Catherine. You. Thanks, Thanks Ellie. Catherine. Ellie, are we yes. into the wings still? Are you going to try another napkin wing test? I'll do another <laughs> one. Yes, for sure. The last one, the best for last. Uh, before we go there, we have one of the bar napkins right okay. here. Mm -hmm. Adorable. Let's start with that. Yeah. Uh, very absorbent and great for the bar area. And then the last one that we have here, there you go, we no have, tip. yep. Uh, the last one is the white swan interpol napkin and the container as well, the dispenser. So we have two products essentially. And this is awesome because you just pull it out and you're done. And it's such a great quality. So it's it has two together. It's such a great quality. I've used this a lot during the week, to be honest. And it's just amazing. I You don't really need to wash your hands after, uh, depending on what you eat and use. Maybe you should, but great napkin. Um, Does it hold up to wings? Does it hold up to wing stickiness? It does, and I'll prove it. Uh, but before I get there, <laughs> I just want to know that these are also biodegradable. And another thing is that you can also utilize the dispenser and you can personalize this part right here. And in the back, you know, you can put your menu or something um, of the day that you have a product that you want to showcase. And it's a perfect dispenser to be used on the ninth hole or on the catering carts. So to Love prove it. to you how good this is, I'm gonna go right. in. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh yeah. Drum yeah. roll Sticky. again. Sticky. Drum, drum roll. I'm using four <laughs> fingers to hold it. Four and you're using four fingers. I love that. <laughs> you got it. You Ellie, you, your students are tuning into this, going, "Oh boy." 
I'm sure they are. They're going to be like, this person is teaching us about nutrition? I am. Yes, I am. Take your quiz. Um, so here we go. One napkin. I had a full dirty hand. There you wow. go. I'm perfectly That's fine impressive. right now. That it's is very, impressive. very impressive. There you, you go. You only need one. one. And that's you a only need napkin. one. It's a cocktail napkin. Oh no, my God. this is the cocktail napkin. This oh, was sorry. the cocktail napkin. This is the interfold well, one. But oh, my still, apologies. Amazing. my apologies. I was just fascinated yeah. with the cocktail napkin. <laughs> it, it is. Yeah, I mean, it it's is like, fascinating. It's like squirrel, squirrel. Yeah. Squirrel. <laughs> and it's awesome. Kruger is a Canadian company, so you're supporting your own. And they're awesome. Everyone is awesome at that company. And these napkins are absolutely amazing. That is awesome. And then I think uh, Katie had the QR code up there. So we had the QR code up there. Thank you so much, Chef Ellie. You always rock. And uh, we're, we're going to have you back Friday too for our Influencer Friday with Chef Ellie. And uh, we yeah, got some I'll see cool, you in two days. We got some, two days. We're going to have you back, right? So thanks again. Yeah. Thanks and let's asking. go over to Thank Chef you. Peter. Chef Peter, let's yeah. see this craziness. Oh. This craziness. <laughs> well, I've decided to leave it to the very end so you don't cut me off again, but that's okay. There you go, there you go, there you go. First of all, I wanted to talk about what's in your fryer. So don't forget about talking with your sales consultants about what you're doing, what you're cooking, what, what type of food you're doing and that type of stuff for choosing the right oil for your fryer. And then of course the new uh, fryer oil filter pods. These things are absolutely incredible. I mean, from all natural products that can keep your oil cleaner, longer, and so you change it less often. So I just really wanted to talk about that. And I also wanted to talk about some great sanitizing surface cleaners that have come out since the uh, COVID started. And if you want to talk about things like smart power and different stuff, talk to your uh, Ecolab rep or your sales consultant in Cisco, and they can help walk you through those things. So right now we're working with the Cardinal vegetarian burger. It, it's halal as well. It's got a really nice size and a great profile to it. I love that part of it because a lot of them actually are a little thinner than uh, than uh, what I'd like. And so we're able to use just one great patty on this gourmet burger. So what I have done here is I've pre-cooked some onion rings in our tempura batter. Now the trick to this is you cook it just for a minute or two, a little longer, and you don't have to worry about dropping just two onion rings into your fryer when your fryers are busy. You can do these onion rings ahead of time uh, and just put them in your dishes, right? So that was really important. Uh, and then I have a little bit of a buffalo slaw that I did with the, uh, uh, the souchoy and mayonnaise. So if you're not using cabbage anywhere else and you got a stir fry on the menu or you're just looking for something alternative to hang on, we have the uh, great hothouse tomato here and some artisan romaine. Great with the cucumber wasabi dressing. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to put those together for us and we'll talk a little bit about the glove, okay? So for this dish, I won't put any gloves on because I can pop on a glove, but otherwise I always wear my gloves. Okay, <laughs> well here we have the, uh, the dish ready to go. And basically what I was doing is I wanted to make this so that this was on the top. So on the bottom here, we have the zucchini, we have the eggplant, we have the tomato itself. I always love to season my tomatoes. So we got our great seasoning here with our kosher salt. Get that up there. And then our lettuce is gonna be a little bit on the top here. And then I love lemon. Lemon can help cut the fat. We're gonna put that right on top of that burger, just like that for the extra flavors. And there it goes, right on top like this. Turn it up like that. Now, if you're in-house, you're here. If you're on the course, you can just include it into your uh, into your dishes. But look at that vegetarian burger dripping wow. on there. Wow. Huh? Fantastic. Okay, so you wanted to know a little bit about what's going on with the... Uh, I forgot my enemies. See? Who, 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 who checked that dish before it left the kitchen? I'll tell you. There it is. All right. So the idea here is that when I'm golfing, I know that there's a lot of golfers that actually uh, don't take their glove off uh, during the game. Some take it off during putting, on and off, on and off. Now you can use a sandwich glove, okay? I didn't have a sandwich glove, but they're a little bit more economical. They're easy to put on over top of your golf glove, okay? So here it is. You got your cutlery and your great napkin, right? And included, or some sandwich gloves that you just pop on over top of your golf club. What else, what do you have to worry about? You got your 90 degree burger here ready to go, right? You got the gloves, you're eating this baby. And when you're done, you swing away. So 
nothing to worry about. This, because we didn't talk about a lot of sweets, this is a blueberry cheesecake ice cream infused with protein liquid. This is a meal. So if you're looking to cool off, if you're looking to use it as a, as whether it's a milk base, a milk a milkshake base, or anything else, utilizing some of that liquid protein can work. And this is a meal to ready to go. So that's fantastic. I can't wait to drink that. <laughs> my, we can sit here all day and watch you if you like. Right that's amazing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There it was. There you go. The the ninety degree burger. Put some gloves on. I like the idea over top of the gloves because I don't. I like think I, it's so smart because yeah. you are. You get caught on the course and you're like, I got this really nice leather glove on. Do I really want to dig in to Peter's burger? Yes, I do. I want Chef Peter's burger, but my glove's gonna get messy. So how do love I do it. that? So love it. Awesome. Yeah. Good little awesome. Yeah. Thanks, Peter. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thanks, uh, let's let's bring Katie. Let's bring everyone else in here. We're gonna wrap up right now. We're a little long on time, but I apologize, folks. Uh, we're learning. It's it's because Acker too. He he loves just sitting there <laughs> as we watch him have lunch. It's just um, so much great information, Jay. It's so yeah, much exactly. Great so much great information. We're gonna have, like I said, a few things here, folks. So follow us. We're back again here at uh, top of the hour here at one o'clock for another whole bunch of great ideas from other vendors and things like that. So tune in. We're going to be back here at 1 p.m. Eastern time for part two of Canada's virtual golf show. Um, also, you can watch and watch today's show. We're going to rerun today's shows later tonight, also over the weekend. And then you can watch it on demand on Facebook as well as YouTube. And now on Spotify as well. You can actually watch the videos on Spotify uh, if you uh, follow us on Cisco's Virtual Kitchen on uh, your podcast channel. So that is huge for us. Uh, we have great ideas, more coming today. And just thank you all of you today um, on your great ideas and phenomenal ideas. We're going to bookmark a lot of them today too on YouTube, just in case you may not, you want to skip to one. We're going to bookmark them. And uh, thank you again to everyone that tuned in today and follow us and subscribe to Cisco Canada's virtual kitchen on youtube and on facebook and on linkedin you'll get notified when we're live because we're the only food service live streaming show Whew, per week there we go <laughs> and we got tons of shows coming up all for the rest of this year and you can watch them on your phone charlotte did you notice you can watch them on the phone you can watch them on your tablet you can Love watch it. them in your kitchen you can watch them in your office you can watch them wherever you like to watch our shows and we're bringing you the most incredible content you can get in food service at the very, you don't have to leave Peter. You can just work and watch shows in your restaurant and enjoy what we're doing. Do right, thank you again. Background. It's great. I know you can just have it going on all day yeah. on your background, right? Why Love not? It. Right. Awesome. So thanks to everyone. And we'll be back. Katie, get ready to roll that outro, but thanks again and tune in in a half an hour. We're back on the SDK network. Thanks so much, everybody. Thanks, Thanks everybody. Bye. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day. Right on.